when cleaning your intensifying screens in the lab, you want to make sure that first you go in the dark room and you take your film out. Whenever you open up, if, uh -oh, if you see that purple film, you know you've exposed your film and it's ruined. It's my favorite shade of purple. So first you make sure, like I did on this one, that you've emptied your film out. And this is the intensifying screen inside. When you're cleaning the inside, you have to be real careful not to scratch it with your fingernails or your jewelry or anything. We want to use gauze pads and your special intensifying cleaner from Kodak. You just moisten the gauze pads just a little bit. You don't want it too wet. And you'll just very carefully wipe over the surface of the intensifying screen. Just wiping. Make sure you get all the little specks of dust or anything in there off. Wipe both sides carefully. Now you're just going to let this sit up and air dry. While that's drying, we'll clean the outside of the other one. To clean the outside, you can use any cleaner. This is just Clorox wipes. And you just wipe the outside really carefully. Make sure you don't have anything contrast or anything on them. After you get them wiped off, we're going to label them. You're just going to use a little regular label and put that the date that they were cleaned. Now, after you've air dried, then you can go ahead and load your cassette back up. You'll just place your film. Of course, you would be in the dark room. You just place your film back inside and make sure that you shut it tight until the latch clicks. And then you're done.